so the cost of living living has substantially gone up uh, for people especially for uh, people at the uh, you know at the base of the pyramid uh, inflation is um, 30% plus uh, you know the impact of currency devaluation has been catastrophic and on top of that because of the exchange rate inconsistency and lack of policy coherence um, our industry is being shut uh, there are massive layoffs so uh, so this is a very dire situation for the country uh, and its impact on those uh, you know at that at, at the, in the fifth quintile in cup quintile uh, is is catastrophic it's totally catastrophic well our official estimates on poverty uh, are, are yet to be calculated but it, but looking at the situation overall you know the the, the impact of in inflation the the job layoffs the impact of the macro economy on the current situation poverty is certainly going to escalate significantly and of course we we are yet to recover from the from the from the covid crisis from the impact and of course pakistan handled the covid uh, situation extremely well uh, compared to many other countries uh, but it did have its impact uh, and on top of that we are seeing eight months of um, the kind of macroeconomic management that we are witnessing and its and its effects they're going to have huge implications for people at the bottom of the pyramid well it's difficult to say but uh, the effect of the floods have been quite catastrophic uh, a huge population has been displaced a vast segment of the arable land is uncultivated we are not we will not be able to cultivate it and uh, then of course there are issues of food security that will loom people are getting pushed into poverty further uh, and and the flood situation coupled with the overall macroeconomic situation and the effects of uh, currency devaluation and inflation and um, on top of that the inconsistencies in uh, exchange rate and what it's doing to the industry and the job layoffs uh, this is a situation that's going to compound it's compounding itself it's having dire effect on the population at large and especially in the lower segments of the population uh, it's going to take us ages to recover from this so the scale of the damage was uh, was very vast and uh, our party and our chairman decided to uh, to mobilize funds for those that had been affected uh, so chairman imran khan had three rounds of telethons uh, and we collected uh, close to 4.6 billion uh, pakistani rupees um, now disseminating that to the affected was a very important consideration because normally funds are collected nobody has an account of where the money is went governments make tall promises political parties make huge promises but in terms of delivery in terms of what gets delivered uh, there's very little attention there's very little transparency on where the money is went so we decided right from the very onset that we were going to be very transparent with where the where the money goes we're going to be very diligent with how the execution happens and we decided to devised a process where we surveyed every damaged house through a digital survey where every house was geotagged we subsequently analyzed that information very carefully did a lot of data cleaning and then used a pre post flood satellite images to make sure that the data collected for every damaged house actually came from the area which was flood affected um and then we decided on making payments to the flood affected through a system where every um individual receiving the money uh, would leave a biometric signature essentially uh, validating that the intended person uh, received the money uh we made sure the footage was there in cctv cameras people were paid in back branches uh and finally we committed to making all the information available on dashboards so if you go to our dashboards they make all the information available about who was helped what um, and uh, and behind a password you can actually see names and identity card numbers and the details about the damaged houses so there was a four factor four tiered a uh, concerted effort 
aimed at ensuring transparency in the utilization of the funds that were mobilized as a, as a result of the telethon. Thank you.